Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Miller's Music Mondays. We're trying a different system today for this show specifically. Well, there I am. Now I'm unmuted. Can you hear me? Yeah, welcome to Miller's Music Mondays, everybody. Uh, we're trying a new system this week. Um for this show specifically. And um, I hope everyone had a good weekend, Easter weekend. I'm not sure what you what you were allowed to do or not to do in whatever state you are in. But um, I worked all day yesterday in the studio on something secret. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Um, apparently I'm low in the audio. But you know we're uh, we're we're testing it out, and uh, I promise this will be good in a minute. We're gonna I'll be the I'll be the guinea pig. I'm gonna play uh, a song, and then we're gonna bring my guest on. And um, hello everyone. This one's the first song off my new record. It's called Expiration Day. Looking over my shoulder, spirits rising with every step they get bold. The long dark highway stretched like a snake out before me. I'm hoping someday it'll take me to where I'm alone.
yourself for the way if you run out of time. As you head to your grave, don't stand in the line. Brace yourself for the way if you run out of time. Falling down from all high, bid heaven goodbye. Yeah. How's everybody doing tonight? All right. Um, without any further ado, let me bring on my guest tonight, Mr. Luke Mills. What's happening? Oh, we need to, un I got to unmute you. Or maybe you have to unmute yourself. Whoa. Um, let's see. It should be in the, yeah, it should be on the computer part. There Let's you go. Let's try that. That probably yep. did it. Yeah. What's happening, Luke? Not too much. How are you doing? Good, man. Good. Just uh, you know, navigating, navigating the the time. <laughs> yeah, dude. I can get behind that. I, this is, you know, after all last year, I'm kind of getting into all of the live streaming things. I've done a few things with my iPad, but uh, it always seems to work out in the end. So I'm not too worried. Yeah, it does. And everybody, everybody, um everybody knows that you know we're all we're just here making it work you know yeah man um by the way a lot of people are saying hi to you in the chat so so that's good yeah hey thanks, welcoming guys. you to the show i appreciate it good to be here and um if you guys remember a few weeks ago my guest bart almond uh was uh was actually how i met luke yeah um well well sort of like he he hooked up to get he he hooked us up together remotely because yes. you guys are from the same hometown in Nebraska. Yeah, and actually, so I'm a I hang out with a uh, Bart's brother, uh, Brad, and and when you came through, I think it was like almost coming up on two years ago is what I, I think it was. It was a long time ago. It feels like, but uh, Bart let us know that you were coming through, and they're like, "Dude, you got to check this guy out. He's a songwriter. He's going to be in Carney, which surprised the crap out of us, you know." And so uh, Brad called me up. He's like, "Hey, we're going to the show. We're going to try this out and check these guys out." And I'm so glad we did. It was a, uh, I think that it was like what, like a Tuesday night, I think it was. And yeah. Pretty sparse. And what was funny uh, is that like six years earlier or something, I played the same venue under a different name uh -huh. and Probably totally forgot about it. And I was like, is this the same place? <laughs> that happens yeah. a lot when you're on the road. <laughs> yeah. You're like, ah, I'm playing, I'm playing uh, Carney, Nebraska, but this time I'm playing like the cool place. It's, you know, and then you get there and you're like, wait, no, this is the place from before. But, but that place actually is pretty cool. So, th so that's not a bad I, I'm 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 being silly about that one, but that kind of thing happens in the bad way another another yeah. time. Well, over the years, you know, places like that. I mean, that place has gone under a few different uh, venue names and different management. And sometimes, it, when it's hot, it's hot, and when it's cold, man, it's cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. And after you play your first song, I'm going to tell you about the Airbnb we stayed in that night because it was pretty legendarily bad. Really. Yeah, I, I'm well, excited to hear about this. The stay wasn't bad, but I'll tell you about it. Yeah, I'll tell you about it afterwards. So right. uh, uh, I, I can't wait to hear one of your songs. What are you going to play for us tonight? You know, I'm going to play you one of my own songs first. Uh, it's a love song and a drinking song at the same time. It's called Getting Gone, and it goes like this. gone and lost its mind become a prisoner of a waste of time and we both know we gotta break out of here i'll take it anywhere you wanna go maybe the mountains of new mexico or any place is gonna be better than here if we leave right now no one's gonna ever see Yeah You and I Racing to the sunset Out and running Every single regret And who cares if we ever make it Back around Maybe it's 
it's just a fantasy trying to escape reality but we need a way to see the sunrise at dawn so we're getting gone there's something in the air today and i'm feeling like a getaway and no one's ever gotta know where we are cause you and i need a great escape to an island in a secret place where nobody will ever even know our names if we leave right now no one's gonna ever see Cause it's gonna be you and I Racing to the sunset Out and running every single regret And who cares if we ever make it back around Maybe it's just a fantasy Trying to escape reality But we need a way to see the sunrise at dawn I think we need to get gone, gone, gone. It's just a matter of time till this fast-paced life up and leaves us behind. Ooh, whoa, whoa, so tired of just getting by. You know it's been too damn long since it was just me and you. And if you're feeling what I'm feeling, girl, you're feeling it too. So come on, come on. Let's go and take back our lives right now as fast as we can. Grab a bottle of wine, stick our toes in the sand, yeah. You and I racing to the sunset, out and running every single regret. And who cares if we ever make it back around? I want to leave this town, but then maybe it's just a fantasy. Trying to escape reality, but we need a place to run. Gotta get away, you and I, making our escape, you and I, are getting gone, we're getting gone, yeah, we're getting gone, pack your bags, cause baby we're getting gone. Yeah, yeah. if only we could pack our bags and get gone right now, right? No doubt, man. <laughs> no doubt. You know, I have to say, uh, I feel extremely bad for you because I felt like you were just getting ramped up to freaking hit it hard, and then the pandemic came along. And in Nebraska here, between South Dakota, uh, all of Nebraska, and then parts of Kansas and parts of Colorado, we we actually got to keep up. We had most of our big dates cancel last summer, but we picked up and stayed busy all summer, which – made me feel a little bit like lucky, you know, so that helped out a lot. But a lot of guys, a lot of my friends in Nashville can't play. They can't do anything. Starting to get back to the normal a little bit, but. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, there's some shows in Bakersfield. I have some friends in Bakersfield about two hours away mm -hmm. uh, that have, that have been doing some shows now. Um, you know, I, we, I hope that by like late summer, we'll be doing some stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, just just doing stuff like this, it, like at least sort of feeds no, totally. the beast a little bit, makes me feel a little bit better. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that I can do it. But um, but yeah, I was getting ready to go on on a, a tour of the UK. Actually, like mm. I was leaving a couple days after they shut everything down. Um, you know, just watching the news and watching everything slowly, like. Like, oh, God, I don't think we're going, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm not one to cry over spilt milk, so I just keep 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 going and keep at it. Um, but I wanted to tell you about that that Airbnb and, yes. and, yes. and Kearney. So we had the whole man, and um, most of the time we rent hotels, uh, but I decided to get an Airbnb in Kearney, Nebraska. And um, it was a really cool place on, like, a horse ranch. And there were horses everywhere and everybody um had a great time and had their own room because there's only four of us we were traveling without a crew 
So it's just the four band members. That's it. We're doing everything. Um, we have a great time. We do. We follow all the instructions, or so we think. Oh no! Here's what happened. We leave. Everything's great. I got a bad review. I'm like, what? Why did you give me a bad review? And and she even wrote it out. She's like, uh, a good guess for the most part, but you might want to uh, reiterate what the closing instructions are to him. And I'm like, what? So I wrote her back and I was like, uh, what, uh, is, yeah, what the heck? Yeah. Uh, like, why did you give me a bad review? Apparently now remember, so this is in a guest house on a horse ranch far away from any other building, but apparently we forgot to close the blinds. Like in all the lists of the things you're supposed to do, strip the bed, take the towels, put them here, strip the bed, put the yeah, thing yeah. here. We forgot to close the blinds. And she gave me a bad review over that. Dude, I want to know where this was at. Like, <laughs> I'll, I'll let you know later. I'll yeah, tell yeah. you later. But so that's my Kearney, Nebraska Airbnb story. So I'm staying at, uh, at, at Hampton Inn uh, next time I'm there. Believe me. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. Talk about nitpicking. Exactly. Dude, that's um, crazy because you know what? Most of the people that, I mean, maybe I should turn my my place into an Airbnb. You could, you guys just stay here. This place is big enough for everybody. You should, man. I mean, uh, for, for those room. of you who don't know, is it okay if I say? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah uh, Luke lives in a giant church, a converted church. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we could all just lie on the floor. That'd be fine. Dude, there, I mean, by the time everything's ready... There's probably going to be bedrooms and everything going on here, so it's going to be pretty cool. <laughs> oh man, man, and that's so weird because like Carney is such a. I mean, I guess there's all kinds all over the place. That's I guess. Strange. Um, and Diana, no, that's not the place where I hit my head. I hit my head on the ceiling in New Jersey. Uh, and that wasn't that technically. <laughs> there was this place where like, uh, it was a basement room. And I was on tour in New Jersey and the, uh, the, the, uh, the braces came down so low that I kept hitting my head on the, um, on the floor supports from the floor above me. Um, oh, it was definitely a place for hobbits anyway. All right. I'm going to play a song. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, so this is one I haven't played on the show yet. It's from my new record. Um, and I'm going to do my best. Uh, this one's called Reckless. And by the way, I'm playing a character in this song. This song is about a jerk, but it's from his point of view. Um, it's called Reckless. Here we go. I don't care. You got a bone to pick with me.
Yeah. All right. Um. Cool. Just reading the thing. Oh, Bestie's here. I thought Bestie could never watch live. Um. Anyway. Um. Hello, everyone. Um. Yeah. So. Uh, that that recording of that one's really fun too because I had um, my friend uh, Michael Fish Herring uh, on slide guitar on that song and he um right now he plays with christina aguilera but he was in prince's band for many years and uh nice. it, he's he's one of those guys like everyone has that one guy that's just like hey can you play anything and he's just like yep i can play anything and fish is one of those guys <laughs> so i mean to be in prince's band you gotta hang right oh dude i think you kind of be one of the best really yeah so um yeah you do have to be one of the best and he's one of the best and and uh, i'm that is the one thing I love about living in LA is, is I know a few of those guys, you know, and like when I can convince them to play on my records, it's always, uh, it's always a yeah. fun time. I get jealous about that stuff. You, you guys have such a, uh, a vast majority of really decent players out there. In fact, most of the guys that I wish I could play with live either in New York or LA. So well, you got to come out here. Well, and Nashville too, right? I mean, yeah, Nashville yeah. has some. I mean, of the that's best kind players. of a given. I don't think a lot of people. I mean, I guess if you're out in LA, I mean, I used to tour out to LA quite a bit. Uh, there was a band called Echo Cast out there, not major, major, but they're really cool dudes, and and we would play these cool shows. We played a show in Bakersfield. I couldn't remember where it was at, but it was really cool. And uh, I remember just when you're kind of in the know out there, th those guys are really good. Nashville's just kind of you just think automatically. Yeah, we can get a cat from Nashville to play, but New York and LA have some really, really, and and Las Vegas too. Las Vegas got some great players. Yeah, I mean, what a lot of people don't realize is when they're listening to country radio that they're kind of hearing the same band. Yes. Over and over again, so like the same band that plays on a Tim McGraw song also plays on, you know, Florida Georgia Line song also plays on, you know, a Carrie Underwood song. It's the same guys. Yes. So they vibe together really well, but that kind of like, I like to mix things up, you know, totally. when I can. No, you um, want it. You're an artist. You want to have your sound. You want your, you want your stamp. You want that special thing about it. You don't want to just sound like everyone else. And I'm not, I'm not, I never dog on any major artist stuff because I mean, the guys that play on that stuff, they build that stuff to be awesome. It's, it's yeah. And I'm not dogging stuff. on it. I'm just oh, saying, no, yeah, I know, you know. but, but yeah. I'm, I feel like I lean a little bit more like you. It's like, I always like to have some guys that kind of have their own little little spin their own art their own feel by the way not not to keep bringing up your your bass player that was on that little run with you when you were out here dude that guy that cat was Lewis. Cool. Yeah, yeah he's great and he's so great on stage too he like adds so much to everything yeah, yeah. you know great performer great player great singer um yeah. really yeah I, I i love him i can't wait to get back on the road with the guys or at least play a show here in la or something um yes. But now you're, um, before you play your next song, you're being inducted into the Nebraska Country Music Hall of Fame. Yeah, it was supposed to happen last October. Obviously, we all know why that got shut down. Uh, they didn't do that. Um, so now I'm slated for this year. Uh, probably, I feel like I'm one of the youngest guys. To be really honest, I don't feel worthy of, um, I just turned 40 last August, and I don't really feel like I've done enough to to get that title however uh when i really think about it uh there's a guy on here who's commenting his name's a, a junk man add uh i know that cat and he's he's awesome uh i've been playing and writing music since i was in high school you know and that's been 20 25 years ago somewhere in between there so it's i mean been a it, long if road. you're being inducted i think you i think you deserve it <laughs> you know what yeah, i mean well, first of all congratulations no, thank second you. of all if they're putting you in there you deserve it you know no, it's been great I, I was completely honored and uh i mean they must feel like i've done some special things and, and you know i definitely yeah. have gotten around nebraska so uh and we're doing more things now we got we, we just had a new song come out uh two weeks ago uh it's, it seems to be doing well so i'm i'm excited about the future it's been been a long road and you know what it's still a long road ahead too so yeah we got we got plenty of time um and, and plenty of more road to go so um what are you gonna play for us next you're gonna play that one or 
You know what? I, th I think I'm. I think I'm gonna give everyone a little taste. And we were talking about those those great old songs that you know everyone play the same guys play on. And uh, this is a one of those Garth Brooks tunes that. Uh, oh yeah. I I just think fits me. I like to steal it from him. That's what I like to say. Uh, so uh, this is a uh, Garth Brooks is much too young. Great. This old highway is getting longer. It seems there ain't much in inside. Sleep would be best, but I just can't afford to rest. Got a ride in Denver tomorrow night. I call the house, but no one answers. For the last two weeks, no one's been home. I guess it's through with me. To tell the truth, I just can't see what's kept a woman holding on this long. And the white line's getting longer, and the saddle's getting cold. I'm much too young to feel this damn old. All my cards are on the table with no ace left in the hole. I'm much too young to feel this demo. Lord, I'm much too young to feel this demo. The competition's getting younger. Tougher Bronx, you know I can't recall. A worn out tape of Chris Ledoux Lonely women and bad boots Seem to be the only friends I've left at all And the white line's getting longer And the saddle's getting cold I'm much too young to feel this demo All my cards are on the table With no ace left in the hole I'm much too young to feel this demo. Oh, the white line's getting longer and the saddle's getting cold. I'm much too young to feel this demo. All my cards are on the table with no ace left in the hole. I'm much too young to feel this demo. Lord, I'm much too young to feel this demo. Lord, I'm much too young to feel this demo. <laughs> just a little Garth Brooks, and I, and I just tell people that I steal it. I was trying to unmute myself. That was that was great, man. Yeah, of course. Uh, Garth is uh, Garth's the man. Uh, I I heard secondhand that Garth liked one of my songs and uh, I thought, okay, I guess I'm a good songwriter if Garth likes one of my songs. Oh, I, I would have to agree. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he was interested. Actually, I'll, screw it. I'll play it. Um, Do it. Yeah. My publisher was pitching songs for Garth's last record, the one that he did uh, a couple years ago, like his, com his first comeback record. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and my friend Ashley McBride just wrote with him a couple weeks ago, and we were talking about that. And then I heard he's bringing back Chris Gaines, baby. There's more you know, Chris Gaines coming. I like Chris Gaines. <laughs> I thought that stuff was cool. Like, I did. I'm, I, I'm, I'm ready it. for it. I'm ready for it. Um, but uh, my publisher was pitching songs to, uh, to Garth, and uh, he really liked this one. But he didn't. He didn't cut it. That's okay. It's one of my. It's one of my. Uh, it's one of mine. And uh, it was. Uh, I've. I've had some. Some love with it. It was featured on an episode of True Blood. Yeah. Um, but he really liked it. So I was. I was happy that. Uh, that Garth thinks that my songs are good. So um, you know, at least that's a good like star in the sky, right? To yeah, point. absolutely. Like okay, I, I. I guess I'm doing all right. But um. Yeah, I'll play it. This one's called uh, You Get What You Pay For. Feel that engine set 
wheels stop moving on. As foul melts like butter, bone dry some big Rusty have some pick up duct tape on the top. Six pack, a thousand bucks, guess you get what you pay for. Hundred miles from Vegas, a thousand miles from Vegas. Sweet last night's whiskey, I must be on the proof. Last night, shots were pounding, woke up on the floor. Heartaches now, a headache, you get what you pay for. Get what you pay for, Miss Step Town. Do you get what you pay for? Home and wine. Get what you pay for. Jokes got shower. Get what you pay for. Get what you pay for. Two more tables. Get what you pay for. Rivers. Get what you pay for. Bad directions. Get what you pay for. You pay for Get what you pay for Me step down Get what you pay for Home and wine Get what you pay for Goods off shower Get what you pay for Get what you pay for Two more tables Get what you pay for Rivers Get what you pay for Band directions Get what you pay for So I don't know, man. If Garth recorded it, I'd be happy, but you know, I don't. I mean, I mean, Garth's a good. Oh, he's a good singer, but dude, you got you killed that song, man. I love, I love your voice. I'm just gonna say that right now. I, I've been a big fan ever since I first met you and saw you live. I was like, gosh, that guy can wail. Thanks, man. Whew. Well, um, I love your voice too. That's why I wanted to bring you on. Uh, we have you. different styles of voices, but uh, but I mean, yeah. you're, you're like crystal clear uh classic country voice i love it i love it man <laughs> yeah i'm making my my old man proud i used to try to do rock and roll but i just didn't smoke enough menthols to do it so is that what it is is it menthol specifically you know, that's what they say huh I at least never that's what did. that's what my band tells me and well all the guys there's some guys out here in parts of kansas and nebraska i've got a buddy named dj bridwell and he just smoked cigarettes and menthols and like yeah if you want that rasp just get some menthols yeah <laughs> or I'm just like, don't sleep or just don't sleep <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's what stiletto, uh, stiletto assassin said just mine gets raspy from no sleep yeah me too uh i always have to get enough sleep on the road or i'm oh, shot yeah. so that's the key on the road sleep 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 you know i got a quick story about the whole sleep thing you yeah know, over the years uh, like i said when I was in my 20s, we were going New York to L.A. back and forth. I mean, we were playing every little nook and cranny place we could play just to be on the road. And we did OK. You know, that's when people still bought CDs, you know, and right. you could actually sell things. 
Um, and uh, when I now we're t-shirt salesmen. Yeah, that, exactly. And that worked. That is great. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, my old drummer in my old band, uh, he passed away about coming up on 11 years ago. Mm. And, uh, and that's when I called it, took a break, you know, we didn't go out anymore. Uh, and, uh, when I started writing the, the country stuff, I actually wasn't writing it yet, but I was kind of dabbling, I guess you could say I was just at home, had acoustic guitar and I was recording in Ohio and I was trying to do this rock and roll record. I was trying, trying to do the, the, you know, the give it all you got raspy. Let's, let's rock and roll like Foo Fighters. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be the Foo Fighters. That's what I wanted. And uh, my producer just stops me in mid, mid sing, just says, what are you doing? He's like, come in here. And so I go into the control room and he's just like, he's like, man, he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm singing a song, man. He's like, no, he's like, what are you doing with your life? You know, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? And I go, I don't know. Uh, he knew me. We're, we were good friends, and he knew I was in a rough place. But uh, he just said, "You know, have you ever?" He goes, "Your voice is just lends itself more to country. Have you ever thought about doing country?" And I go, "Love country music. I mean, that's what I was raised on. I mean, my mm-hmm. family would be super proud of me if I did a country record." <laughs> and uh, and uh, I come from a long line of cowboys. I'll just say that my dad can rope and ride, and we we do all that stuff. But uh, he, he's like, "Well, let's let's write one." You know, and I was like, okay, let's do it. Anyway, long story short, you know, uh, I was, uh, I totally just uh, forgot where I was going with this. What did you just say a second ago? Because I had a really good point, but I went too long. Oh, um, um, well, we were talking about uh, the road and, and. Oh, the road, um, sleep, sleep. Yeah, sleep. So, so all that to tell you this. So we had my new single come out a couple weeks ago, and I have not been on a tour where you're out for weeks on end in a long time. So sure. I was definitely not in shape. Uh, and in one week after doing out here in Kansas, Nebraska, and parts of Colorado, doing radio interviews and singing and doing the morning shows, playing uh, noon shows and playing. And then we got to our big release on Friday and Saturday of this week. And I decided to go out to Omaha <laughs> on a Thursday night and did a show with a guy named Logan Mize, and we sold out the waiting room in Omaha. And I left there at 11 o'clock and got back to Kearney at about 4 in the morning and Mm. uh, went to bed, got up, and that night at that show, halfway through the set, and it's our night, it's our big night, you know, this thing gone, just shot, just Mm. out, just to nothing. So we called it. We had to be there the next night. I went home, and I slept for as long as I possibly could. Luckily, Saturday night was the sold out night and we killed it, you know. Oh, but, good. But man, dude, uh, sleep is so important. <laughs> it's the key. It's the key on the road for sure. Um, so. Well, what are you going to, hopefully had enough sleep to do two more for us, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. So, you know, that song that I was telling you about that producer in Ohio where we whipped one out, I'd been working on this tune for a while. Uh, this is my own song. Uh, it's called Heartbeat, and uh, it's uh, it's the one that kind of just got me back into playing. It kind of woke me back up. And uh, what's really fun is that uh, it's about it's about my lady. And uh, this has been the song that's opened up the most doors for me so far. So I'm gonna play this one for you. Good luck. Okay, it's good luck, right? Yeah. I love the way your hair falls in your face And I love the way you sound when you say my name And I love the look that you make when you're driving my car You're so beautiful wherever you are So I breathe, gotta breathe, gotta breathe Oh, I breathe, you make my heart beat, you make my heart beat right, you put it in time with yours, you make my heart beat right, you bring me back to life, and I want the world to know you 
make my heart beat right. You make my heart beat right. You make me smile every time you look in my way. You always end up the very best part of my day. And I love the way that we go and we dance all night. You're the only girl I need in my life. So I breathe, gotta breathe, gotta breathe. Oh, I breathe. You still make my heart beat. You make my heart beat right. You put it in time with yours. You make my heart beat right. You bring me back to life. And I want the world to know. You make my heart beat right. You make my heart beat on and on and on it goes Where it stops, I'll never know Your love keeps me holding on You're the one I want to keep my soul I want to take you home Nice. So that was the one you were working on when the producer was like, stop yeah. trying to be the Foo Fighters, dude. Yeah. He's like, yeah, it's never going to happen for you. That's what, literally what he said. Well, and now, happen. and now you're being inducted into the Nebraska country music hall of fame. Right. So, right. You know, I guess he was right. I don't know. I didn't hear the Foo Fighters stuff, so it could have been great. I mean, instrumentally, I thought it was really cool, but uh, I was definitely, you know, you know, that time in your life, I mean, maybe you do, you're pretty cool, but like, I was definitely trying too hard. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to just be honest about it. I, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just trying, trying to be cool. And I wasn't being authentic or honest about my writing. Yeah. I was just, I was pushing too hard. Um, I've certainly tried too hard on things for sure. Tried to be a, a rough skater. It's a rough pill to take. It yeah. Did not work out. <laughs> I'm really top heavy and I just kept falling over. It just didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you are tall, dude. I, for, I keep forgetting. Yeah, and I'm all tall. leg. So yeah. it just doesn't work out for a skateboarder at all. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and you got a long way to go when you fall. So you just fall harder and faster. Yeah. I feel. But it's not how hard you fall. It's when you get up or something. Yeah, something it's like that. It's about getting up. It's how many, not how many times you fall down. It's how many times you get up. That's right. As long as you get up one more time, yeah, then you're good. Uh, which we've all done. I guess we're going to do that for the rest of our lives, right? You know, so, I think so. I, I, I find every week there are things that I'm proud of and there's things I'm not proud of every week. And I keep growing and I keep fixing things as I go. And I think we all kind of feel at some point in our lives like we think we're going to arrive, whether that's in a career or whatever. But as I keep going on, I don't, every time I think I'm going to arrive, that's the moment when I fall on my face. And on so many levels, maybe even physically. <laughs> and uh, and uh, now I just expect to learn something. As long as I'm learning something and I'm pushing forward, I think I think that's that's where we where we all can really yeah, relate. Yeah, and you grow. know, um, it's all about giving your all all the time, whether sometimes it doesn't feel like you should or, or can. Um, and then, you know, you never know who's gonna be in the audience. You right. never, you know, you never know, um, 
what could happen. Um, but also I think that if you, if you put a hundred percent into everything that you do, you're something good will come out of it, whether you learn something or whether it leads to another door yeah. that opens. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know, so. I think we should always be looking for and expecting the good, you know, like that's, that's a, that's a thing that I've been doing for myself the last few years. Like, look and expect for the good because if you're looking for the bad you're totally going to find it you know and that's not a good place to be exactly yeah well um i've got one song left and you've got one song left so i'm going to do another one off my new record cool. um i had a really fun time I, so i had a record release party here online okay. and i brought in eight different people that played on the album from all over the country and uh you know had them pop up and they did little 15 minute interviews kind of like this but just a new person every 15 minutes and it actually worked out it worked out great it, it felt it felt like a record release party you know that's cool i mean it was but it felt like I, it gave me the same feeling of when you have one in person right right you know um but hey Can if I, all your which, stuff's open i might come out there and jump dude, on a bill with you or something I mean, we can talk about that later, but I already been, there's a, there's a really sweet place in Kearney and the other side's great too, but, uh, that's where you played last time. But, uh, dude, you, we need to do a show together out here. Cause I think you would enjoy it a we lot. We totally do. And I just won't stay at that Airbnb to get a bad review and no. it'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dude, what uh, song are you doing? I gotta know. Oh, uh, this one, this one is, uh, I wrote this with my Good buddy, Blue Foley. Uh, it's called You're About To. Okay. So here we go. It's a long, dark tunnel when you're riding those rails. Let's walk back the door You're blind to the devil And he just won't fall
you know that feeling when your guitar is just about to go out of tune and then uh -huh. you hit the low string really hard <laughs> luckily i did it right at the end i get to that quite a bit especially I, every once in a while i make the mistakes of changing my strings right before a show and you know you sit there and you you crank on them as best you can but you just know it just needs to happen and i've i've done some some streams here on twitch where like i'll just write the title is tune is changing my strings you know and if you come into the room and i'm changing my strings like it says i'm changing my strings so you know i yeah. can't stop you from coming in but you're just going to watch me changing my strings and i might talk and of course i'm going to talk to everybody and everything of but course. um but yeah uh I, i'm and i'm with you you got to stretch them out you 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 need to play like three or four songs before they're ready to go you know yeah then they're yeah. good but um yeah, I mean, I know some guys on the road that, you know, that have guitar techs and, you know, they'll change their strings for every show. Yeah. Um, but uh, I don't have that luxury, so. I've got a guitar player that plays with me, and sometimes he'll change them for me. He's a really cool guy. I, he's not my, my slave or anything like that. He's just like, <laughs> dude, I'll change them for you. And when he does it, I don't know what he does to it, but he gives it to me. It's in tune. And that thing will usually stay in tune the entire show. But when I do it, like there's going to be a, there's going to be a, some sour notes. It's eventually. it's all down to how you wrap them up here. I learned I early on, there's yeah. a special way you got to wrap them. Or if you've got, um, I love those Spurzel, um locking tuners mm -hmm. where you just put it through once and it clamps it in there. Those, those are great. I've got those on a few of my guitars, but um, most, mostly my electric guitars. Yeah. yeah. Um, so how many guitars do you have? I mean, right here I have, um, I guess I have like six here, but um, I don't know how many I have in general. I, think I, have, I need to make it, I need to make a inventory. I have a lot. <laughs> Cause you know, there's always a reason to get another one, right? I, absolutely. I'm up to seven. I've gotten rid of a few too, uh, but I've got this, this thing, this is an old guild. It's like from 94. Guilds are I got awesome. It for 500 bucks. But when I played it, I was like, the guy was like just needing to get rid of it and i was like well let me play it you know and i was like uh, i want this guitar you know it's like 500 bucks i'm like here you go and it sounds better actually than my tailor that my you know i i couldn't tell you the model but i know it cost me almost 900 dollars, and that, that's the one i take out on the road all the time and if it gets beat up i don't care but you got to have one of those guitars you know <laughs> oh yeah yeah i mean the guitars are made to be played you know so yeah um Anyway, um, so I noticed that you have an official uh, Twitch account. So everybody, please follow Luke's Twitch account yes, so that you can know. start, you know, broadcasting on here if you want. Dude, you I'm going to start doing some things. Uh, I'm definitely going to be, I mean, these Miller Mondays, uh, after I saw the BART one, I've been actually busy. We've been re rehearsing for some stuff, but uh, my Mondays are opening up. So I'm definitely going to be watching this show a lot. I just... I just like everything you're doing, man. Like, it's just cool. Like I, I can't even explain it, but it's, and your guests, I mean, I don't, I feel just honored to be here, but like guys like Bart Allman and stuff like that, like those guys are some, have been some heavy hitters, man. That's great. Well, I mean, I'm glad to have them. I'm glad to have you. You're right there with everybody else. You know what I mean? So, I uh, that, so you wouldn't, you wouldn't be, uh, if you weren't on here. So I'm honored and happy that you came on the show today. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll have to do something in person soon. No, that that's got to happen. I mean, we got to get you back to Carney. There's there's a cool little 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 thing happening out here. You know, the Texas scene is like just blowing up. That place is just sure. all over the place. Yeah. And those guys have been coming up here and kind of helping reignite our area. And uh, we've got a good little scene. Uh, people are ready to come out. They're ready to go to shows. We've noticed that with just every little thing that happens. I mean. A lot of bands haven't sold out shows in a long time, and now we're seeing, for the first time in years, just out of the blue sold out shows. I'm like, so I think. A friend of mine predicted that was going to happen, so yeah, that's yeah. good. So I hope that happens across the board. But no, got to get you out here, man. I we'll have some fun. It'd be fun. I can't wait. Um, well, what's going to be your last song for tonight? You know, I'm going to blow everyone away with a with a one of my favorite. Uh, Kenny Chesney songs, but don't crucify me yet. All right. Like, it's no, a, no problem. It's, it's I won't. One. He's got some good songs. No, he does. Uh, 
I, I live in an area where a lot of people are just like the pop country stuff. They hate it. They want the Texas. So yeah, I but to... I mean, Kenny Chesney, like his stuff isn't as pop as like the stuff no. that's coming out now. My God, I like, I like his little islandy. Yeah, he's got like thing. a Jimmy Buffett vibe. Absolutely, I can dig it. But yeah, uh, yeah, let's do this one. Uh, if you recognize it, if you're over, if you're on here and you want to sing along, just sing along. We won't be able to hear you, but you should totally <laughs> sing along. Double wide, quick stop, midnight tea top, Jack in or Cherry Coke Town. Mama and Daddy put the roots right here, cause this is where the car broke down. Yellow dog school bus, kicking up the red dust, picking us up by a barbed wire fence. MTV on the RCA, no AC in the vents. We weren't Jesus, save me, blue jean baby, born in the USA. Trailer park truck stop, faded little map dots, New York to LA. We were teenage dreaming, front seat leaning, baby come give me a kiss. Put me on the cover of the Rolling Stone, uptown, down home, American kids. Growing up in little pink houses, making out on living room couches, rolling that smoke on Saturday night. A little messed up, but we're all all right here. Yeah. My wife loves this song. You can't see it, but she's dancing in here. <laughs> My favorite part. Baptist Church parking lot, trying not to get caught. Take her home and give her your jacket. Making it to second base, but saying you went all the way. Monday afternoon at practice. Sister's got a boyfriend daddy doesn't like. Now we're sitting out back, 30-30 in his lap, in the blue bug zapper line. We were Jesus, save me. Blue jean baby, born in the USA. Trailer park truck stop, faded little map dots, New York to LA. We were teenage dreaming, front seat leaning. Baby, come give me a kiss. Put me on the cover of the Rolling Stone, uptown, down home, American kids. Growing up in little pink houses, making out on living room couches, rolling that smoke on Saturday night. A little messed up, but we're all all right. We weren't Jesus, save me, blue jean baby, born in the USA. Trailer park truck stop, faded little map dots, New York to LA. We were teenage dreaming, front seat leaning. Baby, come give me a kiss. Put me on the cover of the Rolling Stone, uptown, down home, American kids. We were teenage dreaming, front seat leaning. Baby, come give me a kiss. Put me on the cover of the Rolling Stone, uptown, down home, American kids. Growing up in little pink houses, making out on living room couches, rolling that smoke on Saturday night. A little messed up, but we're all all right. A little messed up, but we're all all right. A little messed up, but I'm all right. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> well, Luke, uh, thank you so much for coming on the show tonight. Yeah, thanks um, for having me. Yeah, you did great. And we got to get you uh, streaming more. You know, yeah. people dig it. People love it. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to dive in. One of the things I like about the Twitch community is uh, we do things called raids. Um, we didn't get raided tonight, as far as I know. Uh, but so what you can do is when you're getting ready to um, to end your broadcast, you can take the audience that's watching you and mm -hmm. take them to someone else. Um, and mm -hmm. I noticed, I just noticed last night that my friend Jonan Vasquez is is streaming on Twitch. And he's a um, he's an artist he created uh invader zim and i noticed that he is uh that right now he is um he's streaming i think he's drawing it says art so we're gonna go raid him you know awesome. we'll go from 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 one type of art to another um thanks so much man and, and good night everybody i'll be back on wednesday um here at eight for my whatever you want wednesdays the request show and don't forget tomorrow at one i'm on the codename games channel with my songwriting show bardic inspiration so hopefully i'll see you guys there and um 
Luke, we're going to talk after the show about uh, some Nebraska shows or something. Heck yeah, man. Yeah. And thanks again, Luke Mills. Be sure to be sure, be sure to follow Luke. Uh, all of his info will be there in the chat, and be sure to give him a follow. Um, good night, everybody. Good night.